This is a $200 pro stock hockey stick built specifically for a certain three time Stanley Cup winning NHL player. And we will be comparing this $200 pro stock hockey stick to a $1 hot dog topped with only mustard. So the question is simple. Would I rather have one $200 pro stock hockey stick or would I rather have 200 $1 hot dogs? Let's find out. Hold up, we do a ton of giveaways on this channel. So please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be alerted when we drop new videos. Let's get to it. I've been waiting to buy this for a good while now because he is one of my favorite players. Here's a hint. Yeah, it's Phil Kessel. I also forgot to mention that it is the Warrior Alpha LX stick. Ooh, very nice. Upon first inspection, it feels like a junior size stick, but it's not. It's 80 flex, it's a good stick, it's nice and light. I don't think that this is a uh, reskinned stick. Is that the term for it? Now this is from his time when he was playing in Vegas. I do have a date on here, 4-18-23. Whether or not he ever used this, he probably did not. But this lie, I'm telling you, let me go grab another stick to show you the lie. But first, let's have a quick little hot dog break. Way too much at the front there, let's try and... Make sure to drop a comment letting the community know which you would choose, the hot dogs or the hockey stick. I've not tested this yet, so it might be the same lie, but when I line up the heels, it's just barely a lower lie. I would say this is just about a five. So my my thoughts were incorrect that it was a bigger lie. Let's see the size. This has a more rounded feel on it rather than like the more square. This is more rounded, which I believe is what made me think that this was smaller. The last thing for me to do before I test this bad boy out is I am gonna cut it down. So fast forward to me cutting this hockey stick. There we go. Oof. Look at that. That hurt. It has the Vegas symbol in the butt of the stick. Typically I would sand this down, but since it still has the butt, I'm just gonna use that. Perfect. Let's go tape it. Now, the specs on this stick are as follows. I already went over the lie. The lie's probably about a five. Now, the curve is something like a PM9, if you know that, or like a W01, I think that's it. You can see here how it's very flat, sort of like a heel curve, except it does have sort of like a little bit of a toe kink at the end. So it is fully custom for Phil Kessel. I talked about how they had the, the rounded edges, as you can see here, and it's 80 flex. Now. I think that this is a low kick stick. However, it might've been just one that he wanted to try out maybe with like a mid kick stick. I'm excited to try it out. But now I'm gonna tape this. Oh, look at that. Then I like to seal it off with just a piece of this. And again, I'm using the black tape because I got it and I don't really use it for anything. And rather than just wasting white tape, I just use this. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up this tape job for you here, and then I will meet you on the rink right now. When stick handling with Phil Kessel's Pro Stock Stick, I found it felt sort of similar to the PM9, which makes sense. One thing to keep in mind is that since it has this lower lie, you need to remember that your stick handling sweet spot will be a bit out in front of you, rather than closer to your body. I did very much notice the toe kink in the blade, which helped with quick forehand toe drags. Overall, I did not have any real issues using this stick since I'm already used to using a lower lie. And if anything, the toe kink helped the wooden ball stay on my blade. I'm gonna do a few shots. So I can tell you right now, this has some pop to it and I really like it. I said in the beginning that I was not exactly sure what the kick point on the stick was. However, I do think it might be a low kick or a hybrid. While I'm leaning towards the stick being a low kick, as I am about to say in this video, based on my usage on the ice, it does feel like there is some kick a bit higher up on the shaft. So I believe this is a low kick. I can feel flex is much lower on the shaft of the hockey stick. Whoop. Whoop. 
Nothing much to say about passing. Passing the puck to the hockey shot passer tool worked well and I was not finding any issues with accuracy. Just remember, as with stick handling, a lower lie may take some getting used to when catching pucks closer to your feet. There's some one timers. Okay, so that, I'm gonna do one more. That toke, that little toke kink in the end, definitely sort of like with the P29, whenever you shoot, you really have to focus on driving that top hand down and in to really power down or else it's gonna go flying off the toe into the upper netting, which is not what you want. Before we get to the answer of, would I rather have this $200 stick or would I rather have 200 $1 hot dogs? Let's review the stick. It has been about a month since I started using this hockey stick, so I've used it for probably about enough time to provide a full accurate review. Let me give you the pros and cons that I found with this hockey stick. Just to name a few of the pros, I find that this hockey stick is light. You are able to definitely fire some pucks in stride, and it has a good mixture of curve in the blade where there is some flatness to it to make some crisp passes. And there's also the toe kink to sort of get that quick high rise shot off the rush. The only real con sort of goes in hand with what the pro is. It's that this stick is specifically built for a style of player that I simply am not. I'm not the guy who is beaming down the ice, getting a quick snapshot or wrister off the rush. Additionally, the flex is sort of a little bit low for me and I felt that it was a little bit whippy. So with this review, I can finally answer the pressing question that everyone has been wondering. Would I rather have one $200 pro stock hockey stick or 200 $1 hot dogs. This stick is amazing. I have scored more than a few goals with it, but hot dogs are the best. The hockey stick is something I can use for a while and it won't go bad. Will my wife leave me if I pick hot dogs again? Eh, it was definitely a tough decision, but I will have to go with choosing the hockey stick. If you want to watch some more, you can watch this video right here, or you can watch this video right here.